Have you ever wondered why your crush suddenly went cold or why that friend always seems to be ahead of you? That's human nature for you. Complex and fascinating. And Robert Greene's book The Laws of Human Nature breaks down these complexities into bit-sized laws that can actually help you understand yourself and others better. And guess what? Ainokoji uses these laws to manipulate people and navigate the competitive world of his high school. So the question is, are you ready to understand these laws and use them to your advantage? Then stick around till the end and you might just learn how to outsmart even the most brilliant manipulator or at least avoid becoming their next victim. Law number 1. The Law of Irrationality Have you ever noticed how even when you know what we should do, our emotions sometimes take over which lead us to make irrational decisions? It's as if our brains have an emotional override switch that can control our thoughts and actions. And basically, law number one is all about mastering your emotional self. Take a look at one of Ainokoji's moments from season 3 of the anime, Classroom of the Elite. When he was confronted by the acting director of the school, Tsukishiro, who kicked Sagayanaki's cane and pinned Ainokoji to the wall, instead of reacting with panic or aggression, Ainokoji remained calm and composed. Sukishiro delivered a message from Ainokoji's father, which could have easily escalated the situation. However, Ainokoji chose not to fight back. Later, when Sukishiro left, Sagayaneki commended Ainokoji for his wise decision to stay calm. Ainokoji then went on to explain that he didn't retaliate because he was uncertain how Sukishiro might use footage from the surveillance cameras against him in the future. This situation explains the law of irrationality. Despite the immense pressure, Ainokoji did not let his emotions determine his actions. Instead, he reasoned about the possible outcomes and chose the most strategic line of action. This teaches us that when our emotions are influencing our behavior, it allows us to take a step back, evaluate the situation objectively and make better decisions. So how can you implement this law in our own lives? Well, think about a time when you felt overwhelmed by emotions and didn't react in the best way. Maybe you got into an argument with a friend or made a snap judgment without really thinking things through. Reflecting on those moments can help you identify patterns in your behavior and understand your triggers. Basically, being the master of your emotions is about recognizing how you feel and then choosing how you will respond. It's not about bottling things up but about understanding your emotional triggers and developing healthy coping mechanisms. Maybe it's hitting the gym, writing in a journal or talking to a trusted friend. By understanding and managing your emotions, you will be able to navigate life's challenges with a cool head, leading to better decisions. And this brings us to law number 6, that is the law of short-sightedness. Imagine a delicious slice of cake, you are hungry and it looks amazing. In that moment, the gratification of enjoying the cake feels much more immediate and appealing than the long-term effects of weight gain or sugar crash. This is the essence of the law of short-sightedness. We as humans often prioritize short-term gains over long-term consequences, leading to impulsive decisions that may ultimately hinder our progress. In the anime, Ainokoji's approach to the class point system serves as a compelling example. During the first season, the students are given a big sum of money as points on their phones, which they can spend freely. While most of the students indulged in instant gratification buying whatever they desired, Ainokoji on the other hand showed remarkable foresight. Despite having the same opportunity to splurge, Ainokoji decided to spend wisely, only purchasing what he truly needed. As a result, when the next month rolls out and the points are reset, Ainokoji is left with a significant portion of his points intact while his classmates are left with nothing. Ainokoji's ability to resist instant gratification allowed him to secure a more favorable outcome in the long run. This concept isn't limited to financial scenarios, it is common in our daily lives too, especially with the rise of social media platforms like Instagram Reels or TikTok. We often find ourselves mindlessly scrolling through endless content, seeking instant gratification and dopamine hits. And before we know it, hours have passed and we have accomplished nothing meaningful. But here's where the law of short-sightedness comes into play by implementing the 10-minute rule. When faced with the temptation to indulge in instant gratification, whether it's binge-watching videos or procrastinating on work, pause for 10 minutes and reflect on the long-term consequences of your actions. By introducing this moment of thinking, you'll give yourself the opportunity to make a more sensible and strategic decision. By recognizing the law of short-sightedness and implementing this strategy, you can break free from the cycle of instant gratification and focus on achieving your long-term goals, whether in exam, work or any other area of your life. 
law number 11 the law of grandiosity this law is all about the tendencies some people have to exaggerate their own importance or achievements they might exaggerate their accomplishments seek constant validation or believe they are better than everyone else it's likely they are always trying to be the center of attention and showing off how amazing they are when it comes to the law of grandiosity both Kushida and Anikoji from the anime display contrasting attitudes. Kushida initially comes across as friendly, outgoing and eager to connect with her classmates. She actively cultivates a persona of likability and popularity, seeking validation and acceptance from those around her. However, beneath her charming facade lies a manipulative nature driven by a desire to maintain her social status and control the perception of others. Her behavior reflects grandiosity as she seeks admiration and validation through her carefully crafted image. On the other hand, Anakoji displays the polar opposite of grandiosity. Despite his exceptional intelligence and abilities, he prefers to remain in the background, avoiding the spotlight and downplaying his abilities. Even when he excels in the classroom, he doesn't seek recognition or praise from others. Instead, he quietly observes and strategizes, constantly staying one step ahead of everyone else. What's intriguing about Ainukoji is that he seems to understand the true meaning of the law of grandiosity. While others chase after validation and recognition, he sees through the facade and understands that true greatness doesn't need to be flaunted. Even though he could easily display his superiority over others, he chooses to remain low-key and unassuming. So what can you learn from this law in real life? Well, it's all about finding a balance between confidence and humility. While it's important to believe in ourselves and our abilities, we shouldn't let it inflate our egos or blind us to our flaws. Instead of seeking external validation, we should focus on personal growth and improvement. By staying grounded and humble, we can earn genuine respect and admiration from others, just like Anukaji does in the anime. Law number 3. The Law of Role Playing this law emphasizes how people frequently develop different identities or roles to fit in, gain approval, or manipulate others. It highlights the complexity of human behavior and how individuals strategically handle social interactions. The key takeaway is that appearances can be deceiving and the true motivations may lie beneath the surface. In the anime, Ainukoji's interaction with his classmates display his in-depth understanding of this law. For instance, he became a close friend to Ichinose when rumors started spreading about her involvement in a crime. Ainukoji gained her trust by taking care of her when she was sick and she ultimately tells him about her past, allowing her to face the rumors with courage. Similarly, when Hirata was struggling with feelings of guilt and isolation after a classmate's expulsion, Ainukoji took over the role of brutal truth-teller. By confronting Hirata about his failures as a leader and reminding him to confront his responsibilities and rally the class together, Ainukoji effectively snapped him out of his downward spiral. In both instances, Ainukoji skillfully used the law of role-playing to influence his classmates' behavior and form deeper connections with them. In real life, understanding the dynamics of the law of role-playing can be extremely beneficial for self-improvement purposes. Recognizing the roles people play in different circumstances allows us to obtain insights into their true intentions and motivations. For example, if someone suddenly adopts a different persona around certain people, it might be a sign that they are trying to manipulate or deceive them. Furthermore, we can use this understanding to our own advantage by consciously choosing the roles we play in our own lives. Instead of blindly conforming to societal expectations or other people's perception, we can truly express ourselves and build genuine connections with those around us. In conclusion, I hope you have a better understanding of how these laws influence our behavior and the behavior of those around us. Remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are 18 laws in total, each offering valuable insights into the human psychology. By applying these laws strategically and ethically, you can navigate social situations with more confidence and even achieve your goals more effectively. So the more you observe, analyze and experiment with these laws, the better you will become at reading people and situations. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.